In this movie, the fourth of the series on drawing tools, we're picking up right where we left off with the preceding movie, and that is drawing organic shapes with some of the tools we have available and how we can start changing those shapes. Also, I want to compare and contrast the difference in drawing organic shapes with, for example, the add point tool, which is what this, this rather bulbous tree is from, or using the freehand tool. They both have pluses and minuses. Let's take a look at those now. I'll go ahead and select the freehand tool. That would be the keyboard shortcut F if you wanted to press that. And we'll create a, a similar look here by just clicking and dragging, never picking my mouse up once. And these upper branches would presumably be covered with leaves or some kind of leaf structure that we would create later on. Come down to our little point here. Auto weld is on. You can tell by the checkbox in the top of our little workspace window here. Release and the shape completes. Well, there's some things I like about this quickly drawn tree trunk and things that I don't like. What I do like is that the, the juncture between the trunk and the branches is a little sharper. Uh, it looks cleaner. This one seems to be a little more bulky. But the thing I don't like is that, wow, I've got a ton of points down here. If I want to manage or change this, I have to grab those points and move them one at a time, and it can create some issues as you work with your shape. So let's talk about these differences and how we can manage them or how we can make, make them work to your benefit, I guess would be the easiest way. Well, these bulbous curves here on this tree can be fixed relatively easy with the Add Point tool. I'll press the letter A, the keyboard shortcut, to get to our Add Point tool, and that's the one over here in the upper left-hand corner. It's highlighted with yellow now. By simply clicking on the path near some of these other drawing nodes, it shortens the curve, same as it does with Pen Tools and Illustrator and Draw. You can do that and really kind of tune up your, your shapes just by clicking and creating only the points you need. So it is possible to dial this kind of bulbous tree in from just a few points to a few more points relatively quickly and easily. Well then what's the advantage to having multiple points? One of the advantages is you can change or if you're duplicating this tree instead of redrawing the same tree trunk if you've got multiple trees in your scene it's much faster to go ahead and duplicate something and then rapidly change it. And here's how we can do that with some of the tools we have available to us in Anime Studio. I'll press the keyboard shortcut G for my selection tool and I'm just going to draw and select some of these points down here around the roots. Now that those have been selected, I'm going to choose a tool we haven't looked at yet called the Noise Tool. As you would expect, it's got the keyboard shortcut N, so I'll press that now. With these points selected, and it only affects the points selected, I can click and drag, and we'll go ahead and change some of those points. It looks like it's a little bit of a twisting action. It only goes pulling to the right. If you pull to the left, nothing happens. If you go up and down, nothing happens. Just to the right. So it changes that just a little bit. Additionally, if I wanted to change the whole tree, come back to the keyboard shortcut G, click on a line segment, and it chooses the whole object. And now we'll look at some other deformation tools we have over here. We've got the bend points horizontal, and pay close attention. Let me roll my, my mouse over that. It's got the letter H next to it. That is not a keyboard shortcut. Keyboard shortcuts always have parentheses around them. This is just for your benefit because the tool right next to it is bend points vertical. And that is just to... So you know there's a difference there between those two, aside from the shape. Let's choose the bend points horizontal. I'll click that and activate the tool with the entire tree selected now. If I click and drag up or down, we can change the way that looks. So we could bend it a little bit that way. We can now check or change that using the bend points vertical. And I'll pull one direction or the other. So we can pretty quickly change some of the looks of this tree without having to redraw it. Now it looks like it's still related. You may want to have these trees in the background. But that's how you can start using some of these tools to go ahead and more economically use your time as you create shapes. By pressing the keyboard shortcut on the Mac, Command-Z, that would be Control-Z on the PC, I can undo some of those changes and bring this right back to the way we want to. Additionally, if you wanted to flip this tree, you can do that with the other tools we've got here, which is Flip Points. So I'm going to select the whole tree, click on the line segment, and come over here and click Flip Horizontally, and now our tree's gone the other direction. 
So all the drawing tools under the actual draw title here are for the object you have selected. Because as you'll notice, we've got some similar tools in terms of distortion, like the skew tools, down in the layers palette. And that works in the whole layer, not something we're interested in right now. The next thing we'll take a look at is now that we have this tree drawn, well, how about if we actually fill it with some color? Wouldn't that be nice? This is where we come into the fill tool area. We've got some tools, the select shape tool, we have the create shape tool and this is important to animate you can't add color to an object until you have defined it as a shape then we also have our paint bucket tool and our delete shape tool if you wanted to keep the lines but delete the fill so I'm going to come back to my create shape tool U. it changes into this little checkerboard and now I know that it is active to be filled I can go ahead and come down to my color picker and simply click on a fill color and you'll notice nothing changed here. If we come back, whoops, look, the color went away. What is going on here? We'll come back to our select shape tool. And when you pick a color like this, and we'll just accept that again, you have to press the space bar to enable that. Now that I've pressed the space bar, you'll see that the color has changed in here. So again, this is another little quirky way that when you're working with anime, you have to be ready for when you're using that tool. When we come back to select shape tool, that's selected if we change the color, it changes right away. But on that first color, when you make a shape, you actually have to press the space bar to affect that change. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and take a look at welding points and simplifying complex objects.